Novak, welcome back to Indian Wells. If you had a tough draw in Acapulco, it's an even tougher draw here. Have you ever known a quarter of a Masters 1000 to be that stacked? Uh, can't recall, to be honest. It's definitely one of the toughest draws. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't really affect it. Um, sometimes it's just a matter of luck. Um, but again, you have to accept it, you have to deal with it. And, you know, obviously I, I try to focus all my attention on, on my level of my game and my performance and, and then hopefully hopefully I'll be able to go far. And if you could choose any tournament to come back into top form, would Indian Wells be your top pick? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, this, this is a great uh, occasion for, for me uh, to try to, try to get, a, get a good result. Um, I started, started the year very well, winning in Doha. Um, I lost the second round of Australian Open. Uh, after that, I played only Acapulco and, uh, and a match in, in Davis Cup, so didn't have too many matches this year. I'm looking forward to compete. Um, I do generally feel better than uh, on the court than I than I have maybe uh, the last part of the 2016 season. So, you know, hopefully I can get the, the maximum out of myself this uh, this 10 days and, and and get far. And you return here having completed the Sunshine Double three years in a row. So an oft overlooked uh, achievement, but did, what do you think of the qualities in your game and your mentality that have allowed you to do that? Um, I think the fact that uh, Indian Wells and Miami stretch, um, um, you know, is, is a month and, and uh, one time and um, you pretty much have a lot of time to recover between matches. Uh, there are not too many matches that you play day after day. So it really does allow you to, to be um, I guess in top of your form for, for more or less every match. Uh, you get a lot of time to practice, to, to get, get yourself in the right, right state of mind and, uh, and compete. You know, um, best players in the world are here. Uh, you know, Roger and Rafa are, are back, obviously playing, playing some extremely good tennis. So the season has started uh, very interestingly for, for all the tennis fans and we'll see how it unfolds here. It's an ever-changing tournament here. How impressed are you that they manage to improve things every year in Indian Wells? I mean, it does not surprise me anymore. It just impresses me even more. And um, um, I would like to obviously uh, express my gratitude to Larry Ellison and all the organization of the tournament for really making sure that all the players are, are very comfortable um, in Indian Wells. Uh, the facilities are, you know, keep on improving. They keep on growing. There's always something new to see each year. And it's definitely one of, the, one of the best tournaments in the world. And finally, if you were a fan coming here rather than a player, what would attract you most about it? It's such a great fan experience. I mean, it's a combined event. You can see, as I said, the best players in the world, both men's, women's playing every day, practice courts, matches, stadiums. Um, the, you know, the food court is incredible. Uh, everything. I mean, I mean it's, there's, there's so much uh, engagement for, for, for tennis fans and entertainment throughout the entire day, every day for almost two weeks. So. It's definitely a place to be for, for tennis fans.